I'm Ashley, and we're here to check out an I Can Camp workshop at Jay Cook State Park, one of 73 Minnesota state parks and recreation areas. Let's see what they're up to. I Can Camp overnight workshops give people a chance to try camping for a night with everything provided, the tent, cooking gear, and air mattresses. Bathrooms are nearby, and there are campground roads near the campsites. Instructors from Conservation Corps Minnesota show the families how to set up a tent. Then the families try it, and the instructors give them help if it's needed. I've never set up a tent before. I've never gone camping before, or been out in the, you know, slept in a tent ever. So this is the first time. So what they had us do is just watch them set up a demo tent. And then we came over to our site right away so we could do it right away. And um, we set up our tent and it worked out pretty good. We had just trouble with the last part, but there was someone to come and help us um, figure out what we did wrong. So it worked out great. So once the temporary home is set up, what comes next? After the families get camp set up, they enjoy their packed lunches. And we meet up around one o'clock and we do a camper Q&A. Um, we also do a kids activity, which is either done with a Conservation Corps member or a park naturalist staff. Um, and then we give them recommendations for free time. And like most parks, Jay Cook State Park has plenty of things to do. There's geocaching. It's kind of like treasure hunting with a GPS unit. There are hiking, fishing, biking, and canoeing opportunities, as well as naturalist programs. And you can't leave Jay Cook State Park without seeing the Swinging Bridge. The workshops teach all the basic camping skills, including fire building, fire safety, and outdoor cooking. Instructors patiently walk participants through the steps, and they're available to help any time during the workshop. I, I think the biggest thing, you know, that I learned was um, the cooking, how to cook, what to cook. And I think that's the biggest thing that I got out of this was just the confidence of knowing that this is something that I could do, that I could do again. So, um, the best part probably was just being able to spend some quality time um, with my kids in a, a beautiful setting. Uh, the Conservation Corp people were fantastic, you know, young kids, very enthusiastic about what they're doing, and, um, but I had, I had a great time. The day is almost done, and the families will soon spend a night sleeping in their tent. Tomorrow morning, they'll wake up, make breakfast, and call themselves campers. Who knows? It might be the start of a family tradition. Of course, I don't feel like it's been a successful trip until I've had a treat. Need I say s'more? Hope to see you out here soon. I Can Camp workshops happen all summer. Just go online to register for a workshop at your favorite state park or recreation area.